Well, let's get into this because Taken, I love the Liam Neeson so films. Good. I mean, they're so phenomenal. But this is this is the prequel to that, right? Yeah, so it's actually sort of a modern day origin story because it is a it does happen before, but it's not it's 15 or 20 years ago, but set in modern times. So that's where we catch up with this that's character. We, yeah, so we sort of see the Brian Mills character, the Liam Neeson character, uh, is his beginnings, the Brian that character, and yeah. how he got his particular set. I was going to say because he's got some wicked skills. He does have wicked find skills. You. I yeah. find you. And, you know, I love his voice. He's, I know. I know. And so, I'm on his team, by so, the way, just so you know. <laughs> I'm not going again. Um, you have yeah. to be on his yeah. team. It's dangerous. To and not. you were part of the uh, Central Intelligence, correct? Yeah, so there, we're an intelligence agency. It's like the CIA or the FBI, just one more letter. It's the ODNI. Uh, and we are concerned with national security. So you learn sort of how he got his particular set of skills and then why so many people are out to get him uh, and we're the team that sort of right. surrounds him. Well, here's a, we're going to drop in on the show. This okay. is where you and the team are discussing Brian's next or latest mission. Okay. Take a look. Brian Mills, ex-military, Green Beret, three tours in Afghanistan. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this isn't Middle East related. Puerto Barrio, Colombia, January 2015, Mills' last active service posting as liaison to Colombian Special Forces for Operation Snow Joe to capture Carlos Mejia, a.k.a. El Carnicero, the butcher, whatever, last seen seven years ago. CIA, based on source and asset reports, believes his cartel is now running terrorists and weapons as well as drugs into the U.S. Puerto where? Barrio. Thing is, Mejia wasn't even there, but his son Miguel was. Our friend on the train do this? Yep. While saving the life of an undercover DEA agent. My call. If this is Mejia avenging the death of his son, he's probably not going to stop until it's done. Life. Yes! Wouldn't that be so fun? I, yes! Until something bad happens for real. I know! <laughs> they, I kept saying, like, give me a weapon, put yes. me in the field! And they said, you are armed with a sharp sense of humor. Uh, I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> knives, guns, that's no, any knife Nothing. or anything. But then you've shown up at the right spot. If that, if that, if that's your weapon, Thank this you. is we're gonna need you. You are in the good. right place. Thank your you. love for acting started years ago when you were just a wee little girl, <laughs> growing up in the bright Wait, city of bright sorry? lights and shows. <laughs> Should we get some Lucky Charms for her yeah. already? No, 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 no. You know what? <laughs> Back <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, anyway, you grew up in Las Vegas. I what did. was that like? Well, that was the perfect Las Vegas accent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that scene. Good. Um, That's good. You know, wow. I didn't know it was like a weird thing until I left. And I was like, wait a second. Not everyone went to the Liberace Museum on school field trips. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. yes, we would go. We would, yes. Oh, good. He rhinestoned everything, which I learned. Oh, wow. Yes, rhinestone pianos, cars. Wow. Uh, That's a lot of East yes. 6,000 right there. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> actually I didn't actually even know what a natural science uh, museum was until I came out here. I was like, what is the natural history museum? There it museum? is, right there. Oh, good to know. We, If that was in the Liberace Museum, it would be covered in rhinestone. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Well, I understand, though, you, uh, you have an uncle, I guess, who worked at the Hilton. Yes. And was a sound engineer. Now, I gotta yeah. imagine back in the day, because yes. the Hilton was big. Yeah, that yeah. Was, where, it was, it was, where every, it was where everybody went. So right. he would um, take me, my aunt and uncle would take me and put me in the sound booth and sort of prop me up on pillows from the time I was like really little. We little? And let me, we <laughs> sound, <laughs> we little lass. A wee little lass from There Vegas. she is, it's a wee little lass from <laughs> Las Vegas. Oh, there she is. Las Vegas. That's that 80s hair. Oh, there she is. She got the She got the <laughs> um, so sound booth propped you up. Oh, so you would prop me up, and then I would get to watch all of the performers. So like, I saw Wayne Newton way more than any child wow. should oh, ever gosh. see yeah. Wayne Newton. Yeah. And uh, you know, Natalie Cole, and so many people oh, went through wow. there. Who was your favorite? Um, Gloria Estefan <gasps> and the Miami Sound Machine. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. Oh. Shake your body, baby. Do that conga. <laughs> 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 so clearly, then you must play like a conga or something. Woo! Yes! <laughs> How can you not love this? I'm not sure what's happening. Not, 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 it's your favorite line from the from the birdcage. I know. Gloria, let's go. Yes! 
Let's go, Gloria. Let's go, Gloria. I love it. But my favorite Sorry, thing was like, I love the performers, but I think like I was like, oh, I must be in show business when uh, they gave me this little autograph book and they would take me backstage after. And uh, one day I went back and I just saw the snack table and it was <laughs> and it was laden with so many assorted fancy cheeses that I was like, this is the business. <laughs> like, this is where I have to be in my life because of all the cheese that you can eat. <laughs> and uh, All right, I understand though you have a deep rooted, some unexplained passion for the tambourine. Right. Yes. That you You're very good at it. I mean, listen, thank you. <laughs> and, and humble. I mean, I think that at any given time, I'm probably recovering from several tambourine-related injuries. Oh, okay. um, Because I'm aggressively, t I, I, I have some. Did you train? Um, you brought? Oh are you classically oh trained? Oh my God. These are my everyday tambourines. Oh. <laughs> they go on your shoes. Wait, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Yes, this obviously. This is my favorite thing ever. Oh. Oh my God! Oh my God! Could you? Hang on. These were a gift from someone who. Hang on. We gotta load you up. Oh, oh, out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Wait. Okay. Let what me would see. you like to dance to? <laughs> I mean, cue it up. You can do so much to cue anything. Cue it up. Let's see where it's gonna go. What do we got? Mr. Tambourine. Man, that's that is. <laughs> we say tambourine gin in my house. Yeah, okay. You have to do it standing, I think, and this is good because I have three tambourines, oh, so I can do the feet. Wow, that's impressive. Can you? And then you stand up. Yeah, stand up. Yeah, stand up. I think you got a flanker. Other side. Put it right in the middle. You got to get in the middle. We got to have your tambourine. There we go. Good. Oh, and yeah. other people's butts, like your butt, and your butt, and other people's butts. Good if you hop, it's good. Wow, that's it! All right. Oh, yeah. You keep doing your thing. We're going to come back. Kim, come down, please. <laughs>